So we checked in just a little bit ago. This could like go either way. Like, We're not really a, sure what's gonna happen here. Yeah, there's a really nice tower behind us. And um, then also there's some other rooms over kind of that way that look different. So. Mind if I take you on a fancy date? Yes, where are you taking me, Waffle House? <laughs> no, IHOP. Oh, next best thing. <laughs> All right, so after some successful relaxation and tanning, it's time to go get some lunch. Let's eat. I love this sand because it's not super hilly. Like the sand in Pensacola where it hurts your legs after you walked on it for a little while. I like that it's just flat and you can walk without getting super tired. Yeah. Tonight, we're headed to one of our favorite places to go in Daytona, the Daytona Beach Boardwalk. We're gonna go find the most unhealthy food that we can find. Now, the last time that we were in Daytona, we went to the boardwalk on more or less of a whim. We were out, like, hanging out on the beach and just kind of, like, resting, relaxing in the late afternoon. And uh, then I suggested that we go for a walk. So we went for a walk, we pushed the stroller all the way down the beach and uh, right over to the boardwalk. And um, it was fun. We had a good time doing it. Yeah. And I didn't, didn't think have, through it. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't have, um, I didn't have any shoes uh, or flip flops. I had like left them all behind. So I walked barefoot like the whole way. And then um, we ended up walking back to our hotel on the sidewalk that night. Um, so it was what two miles yeah but before that I went and bought new flip-flops before we walked back on the sidewalk so yeah, we learned our lesson so this time we're driving to the boardwalk yeah. <laughs> So we actually ended up parking at the parking garage that's right across the street from the Windham Resort. So we're gonna hop on the elevator and head across the bridge to the Windham Resort. And then uh, we're gonna walk down to the boardwalk from there. So after dinner, we walked down past the band shell. Then we strolled down the pier and caught some sights along the way. At the end of the boardwalk, there are some places to eat, grab some snacks, play some arcade games. And we found a little place to have some funnel cake.
After the funnel cake, we walked past the boardwalk onto the pier. From here, we caught some beautiful ocean views and enjoyed the cool, salty sea breeze. There's an amusement park just beyond the pier and the boardwalk, and we'd rather just watch from a distance. Then we spend a little time wandering the streets of Daytona, and checking out the stores, and doing a little window shopping. It's always amazing to me how much stuff they can fit inside of these beach stores. There's stuff everywhere. So the boardwalk part of um, Daytona is quite family friendly, I think. I mean, there are a lot of different like arcade games and there are a couple of rides and stuff like that. So you see a lot of families walking around. And then if you continue down Main Street, it's like tattoo parlors and bars and pubs and clubs and saloons. Yeah, it's not exactly family friendly, <laughs> so, but interesting to look at. Yeah. And the architecture is pretty cool, yeah. so there's that. Anyway, I realized that I left our selfie stick at the funnel cake place. Um, I'm really sad about that. Yeah, because we just bought it. Um, but we're mostly sad about the attachment, the adapter to make the uh, selfie stick work for an iPhone because I'm pretty sure that costs more than the selfie stick yeah. did. Yeah, <laughs> more than five dollars. So we went to the mall. And it was closed early. <laughs> we didn't expect that. Yep. So a very helpful lady uh, suggested that we come down to this shopping center, which I think is pretty new because I don't remember it being here the last time that we were here. And I think it's called Daytona One. Hi, this is Anthony and Elena. If you've enjoyed this video, then we invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida.